Hey, we're back. So, as you guys know, and if you don't know, you'll know over the lifetime of this channel that one of the things I promote heavily is having a healthy distrust of any government or any organization to reliably provide for your retirement long term. I personally advocate for self-sufficiency and self-security of your own finances to ensure that you have a positive and bountiful retirement. I believe that these things are the, the only way that you can have a relaxing and peaceful retirement without having to throw a duty belt back on again over the age of 60. But I know that this isn't really, this still isn't a widely adopted and widely recognized mindset and many officers out there still rely and still expect for their pensions to be there when they retire so because of that i will occasionally be doing these videos to help open people's eyes to the reality of what's going on in our profession and just how endangered our pensions are especially especially if you have 10 years or more or you're just starting out in this profession this is a pension alert hey thanks so much for tuning in right now this is xavier wells before we get into the video today please real quick takes a few seconds hit that like button subscribe click the notification bell it does this channel so much especially as a young fledgling channel all right i appreciate you guys let's get into it today so today on the very first inaugural pension alert we're going to be looking at the pension for austin police department now on the recruiting page on the recruiting page that that page that they put forward right it actually looks amazing okay so they're offering a 3.2 percent multiplier times your years of service so basically you have to do 23 years with the austin police department at 3.2 percent which is going to give you somewhere around 73 percent for your retirement and there's no uh cap on the amount of years you can do so in theory you can get up to 100 percent on your retirement that sounds great and guess what if it worked like that if it was that secure it would be it would be and it is it, it is definitely great for the officers that have already come through and are retired but if you are a younger officer you still have 10 plus years left in your career you want to pay attention to this you gotta look at the whole picture so that's what it says on the recruiting page but just below the surface if you get past the facade there's some very concerning things going on right now concerning Austin Police Department's pension system. According to a 2019 article on the subject of Austin Police Department's pension, one of the least covered aspects of the criminal justice system in Texas is the ability of municipalities and police departments to fund their pension systems long term. It goes on to say that so far, the decision of many cities and many departments to hire new officers at the rate that they need to is actually decoupled or disassociated with the actual need of the pension system. Basically, departments aren't hiring enough new officers in the amount that they need to to actively fund the pension system long term. And this is happening right now in Austin. This article goes on to state that Austin Police Department and the city underfund the police pension system to such a large degree that the current contributions made by both the city and officers that are in the system are not enough to cover the, the taxing, to cover the draw on, on the actual pension system over any significant length of time. Basically, what I'm trying to say is Based on current contributions, both made by the city and officers, there's that contribution rate that gets pulled out of the officer's paycheck, right? Based on those two things, 
If you if you if we don't change anything, if nothing gets changed with the city or the department, the department and the city will never be able to fund the police retirement system for Austin. That means that their pension is in danger. It's in the red zone. It's in the danger zone. Talking to you today, like right now, 2020, whatever date it is, the Austin Police Department pension only has about enough money in it to last 50 years. After that, it will be run out, run dry, unless some drastic measures are taken. And these drastic measures are going to come in the form of things like reducing the multiplier from 3.2 to something with a two starting on it, which is gonna drastically affect the amount of money that officers get in their pension who have worked the same amount of time. Another thing that's gonna happen is that they probably need to increase contribution limits. Already, Austin Police Department requires officers to contribute over 13% of their paycheck every two weeks into the retirement system. To begin to address these concerns and to begin to address the health of the pension system, it's likely that the department in the city will require a higher contribution from officers' paychecks. That means that's less money for officers to take home. Of course, I'm just, I'm just spitballing here. It could be some combination it could be some combination of the two of those things. It could be other things that I'm, I'm not even thinking about right now. But the whole point is, is that something's going to need to change because right now as it stands, there's only 50 years worth of money left. So if you do a 30 year career, you just come in right now, you do 30 years, you're looking at about 20 years, give or take, of your pension system actually being funded. And if all you did was sit around and wait for your pension, you have nothing else going for you as, as far as retirement is concerned. What are you going to do when it runs out? You got to think about that. Additionally, additionally, right? You might be thinking, okay, well, that sounds bad, but you know, you know, they're going to figure it out. Oh, okay. Well, let's look at it. Let's look at some other things that are happening in Austin right now. The city council of Austin just voted and approved a $150 million budget cut to the department. That equals about 34% of the department's yearly budget has now been has now been defunded. Okay, that also includes the next three academy classes at a minimum. So, what does this mean for the retirement? Well, like I said earlier, right, the the city and department were already not hiring enough new officers, enough new blood to keep to keep the pension system afloat now it's been defunded and the next three academy classes are canceled that means no new blood coming in to prop up that already suffering pension system hey so look you could take all this information you could take this whole video you could take this whole channel with a grain of salt and you can sit back and think that this is only limited to austin police department but I'm here to tell you something. I promise you, it's not. And you'll see that as I do more of these pension alert videos every five, six, seven videos or so, to just bring home the fact that you need to start taking an active, almost obsessive interest in your financial stability and your financial future. You need to take your retirement into your own hands and start really looking at putting your eggs in multiple baskets because if you think that you can just sit at a department and ride it out and hope that the smoke clears and you're just going to get that pension and sail off into the sunset you're wrong you need to take an active personal interest in your finances to make sure that you can retire after it's all said and done because i tell you what they are. Hey, this is Xavier Wells, Cadet Rookie Cop. Thank you so much for tuning in. Look, take it serious. Take it serious. This is not an isolated incident, as you guys will soon find out. If you liked the video, please click the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share this on social media, share it with friends, talk about it. Let's get the conversation going, right? Let's let's bring awareness. Let's bring awareness to what's going on in our profession, all right? Again, 
Stay blessed. I'll see you guys on the next one.